Coming up on Around Kern County, we're launching a new segment with our human resources hiring team. Stay tuned for a look at November's Recruitment Roundup. And we're just days away from the November 5th, 2024 election. We have everything you need to know about how to cast your vote when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Triolo. The November 5th, 2024 election is just days away. And the Kern County Elections Department wants to make sure you know all of the resources available to cast your vote. If you're a registered voter, you should have received a mail-in ballot. If you didn't, or if it was misplaced or damaged, you can get a replacement ballot at our Elections Department at 1115 Truxton Avenue in Bakersfield, or vote in person at your poll site on Election Day. Poll site assignments can be found on kernvote.com. Polling sites will be open from 7 in the morning until 8 in the evening on Election Day. And if you do plan to vote by mail, your ballot must be postmarked no later than Election Day, which again is November 5th to be counted. Official ballot drop boxes are available across the county and locations can also be found on kernvote.com. Please visit that same website to track your ballot. And if you want to observe the election process in action, you're more than welcome. Just check out the observation schedule and guidelines on kernvote.com under the November election tab. And as far as results, Kern County Elections is planning to release their first batch at 8 p.m. on election night and every two hours after that until all poll site ballots arrive in their office. New vote updates will be released on the following Tuesdays and Fridays, leading to the completion of the official canvas on Thursday, December 5th. We also wanted to let our community know that last week, our elections department conducted a voluntary audit to test the county's ballot scanners and vote tabulation systems to ensure they are fully prepared for the upcoming election. We're proud to share the audit found no discrepancies in the entire process and those results were sent to the Secretary of State. As a reminder, your vote matters and your voice counts. So get out there and make it heard on Election Day. For any other information, please visit kernvote.com. We're thrilled to introduce a new monthly segment to around Kern County known as our Recruitment Roundup. We're chatting with Human Resources on the top jobs they're hiring for this November and giving our community a behind the scenes look at how they can join our workforce. The purpose of this segment is to announce our job positions or positions throughout the county and let individuals, employees, their family members know that we're hiring. So right now we have a couple of jobs that we'd like to announce, one of them being the Sheriff's Dispatcher. And these are the individuals that receive 911 calls. We also have um, another safety position within the probation department, which is a probation technician, and they support uh, deputy probation officers there in that department. Um, generally across the county, we have an office services specialist, which is, um, I would say, the entry level supervising position for clerical positions within the county. So we also have an information technology manager position within the county. This position oversees functions throughout the entire county, which is 23 different departments. Our organization is a great place to work. I've been with the county a very long time, and the promotional opportunities that are available within the county are just not anything you'd see working in another industry. Um, we encourage promotions, we grow our people, we train them. So I think aside from that, like the personal, Every unit, every department that I've worked with has been great. I've had great mentors and great supervisors, and the staff is just great. And we're sharing an exciting opportunity to take home a forever friend just in time for the holidays. Anna Marie Odo has those details. If you're looking to expand your family, Kern County Animal Services is partnering with over 50 local organizations to host their fifth annual Mega Adopt and Shop event on Sunday, November 9th at the park at Riverwalk. 
Each organization will be set up from 11 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon, with more than 100 animals available for adoption. For interested pet owners, each organization will have their own adoption criteria and fees, along with other helpful resources. Some mega adoption event partners include the City of Bakersfield Animal Care Center, the City of Wasco Animal Services, Tulare County Animal Services, Shelter on the Hill, Ocean Ray Rescue, and SOS Dog Rescue. For more information about this event, please visit kerncountyanimalservices.org. We're giving you another way to get outdoors this fall and enjoy the beautiful change in weather. Kern County's Camp Okihi has become an educational riverfront oasis thanks to our partnership with the White Wolf Wellness Foundation. The organization's five-year plan to restore the 13.7-acre property to a mindful retreat space is making strides to offer an elevated outdoor recreation experience to Kern County residents. I think there should be more accessible green spaces where you can see wildlife and be surrounded by trees, like almost in a forest setting along the river. Just, you need access to beautiful green spaces. We do have different animals. They're part of our educational programs. Kids get to learn about the life cycles of different animals, both wild and domestic, and then they get to interact with them. And um, we have a native garden, so people can learn more about the native plants and trees that are found in our area. We have edible gardens, so that we get the wildflower gardens going, those are really fun. It is an honor to get to do this project and it is magical out there. Like people come out and they can't believe they're in Bakersfield. And if you'd like to see that, I encourage you to come out. Camp Okihi is located across the river from Hart Park. You can take a look at their upcoming events and learn more at whitewolfwellness.org slash info. And we're ending today with an important reminder from Kern County Public Works about a new diversion process. Watch now. The next time you make a trip to a Kern County landfill, keep in mind that there's a new diversion process in place. This is to comply with California State Law 1383, which says you must dispose of your materials in separate areas. Just load your items in this order. Garbage, tires, carpet, electronics and old appliances, mattresses, yard waste, metal, wood, and cardboard. This will help you get rid of your debris with ease as you make your way around the site. Learn more by visiting kernpublicworks.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. And don't forget to follow us on social media or download the MyKern app in the App Store or Google Play. We'll see you next time.